What's up everyone, this is Wasim from the Tech Boys and I have an overview of the new Android 4.1 Jelly Bean update on the AT&T Samsung Galaxy S3. So the Jelly Bean update is now rolling out. Um, you can update the phone through Samsung Sky's application. Um, so you have to download the application to your Mac or PC to be able to update the software. So let's go over some of the new features. Um, first, the biggest is probably Google Now. So you can access Google Now by pressing and holding your home button to uh, tap the Google Now icon, which is right below. And I'll show you guys how that looks. So you can see the Google icon right in the middle. Tap on that and that brings up Google Now. You can also set an app shortcut on the home screen, the voice search. Or you can press and hold your menu button to tap the microphone from here. Google Now is a nice way to keep all your suggestions in one place. Um, so you can get your weather information here, um, some restaurants that's nearby, events, boarding passes, um, or just ask Google some questions um, to go ahead and type it out or tap on that microphone to ask it. What is the capital of France? Paris is the capital of France. Show me some Chinese restaurants nearby. So things like that, you can ask it. It's really fast um, um, and it just works really well. You can also ask it to identify music um, as well as scan QR codes, which is just added today through Google Now. So it is a really nice feature um, and it works much better than S Voice that's built in the S3. I've actually disabled S Voice and I'll be using Google Now from now on. Um, other new features is the um, is when you're adding like widgets or app shortcuts, your um, the apps will automatically realign. So if I try to move this to the top, um, it will do that for me, which is a really nice feature. Um, and overall, this project brother makes the S3 much faster. Um, if we go into the web browser, we can see that um, it's just very smooth, really easy to use. Um, so let's just go to phonearena.com just so I can show you guys. Um, it's much faster. Um, I've noticed that it's a little bit faster than the ice cream sandwich build. So you can see the website is loading up and you can see it's just it's really fast. Especially with this website where there's a lot of pictures, videos and articles to load up. Um, the S3 does a really good job. Um, and you can see Pinch and Zoom is just buttery smooth. I think this is probably one of the smoothest browsers I've ever used on a smartphone. Um, and it's still loading, but you can see it can still uh, use the web browser. And it just, it's a very nice browser. And of course, the best thing is going into your settings. Um, I think they also changed the um, the toggles here. I don't remember if a driving mode was there with ICS. Um, they might have added that um, to the Jelly Bean update. But if you go to About Device, you can see here that it is running Android 4.1.1. Um, we don't see the multi-view window that's supposed to be coming. Um, that might be coming in a later update um, for that, but with Android 4.1. Just tap on here, and here we have the Jelly Bean. Press on it, and you can play with the Jelly Bean, which is <laughs> very fun to do. All right, guys, this has been a quick overview. Not too many new features. Um, the camera's about the same. Um, I didn't see any new applications added to the S3, but it's just much faster, and Google Now is probably um, one of the nicest features I've seen. Um, with Jelly Bean. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the Jelly Bean update on your Galaxy S3, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.